under the carob tree to listen to the birds. Well, good afternoon from a very miserable Algarve. Um, it's been like this most of the day. It's even rained a bit. And if you can hear in the background, it's Abe. He's at home and he's cutting down all my wildflowers. Um, so let's go and have a look, see what he's up to. I'm just watching out for frogs. The frogs? A lot of frogs. Is there? A lot of frogs. So Abe's cut this bit of land down um, and it looks a lot, it does look nice. Um, we've still got enough area, so this area he hasn't cut down yet. Okay Spencer, what have you brought home? So I brought back, it used to be like an old I think it was. I've drove past it, me and Abe have drove past it every single day since we've been helping this friend out. And I just thought, yeah, it'd be a nice little house for Marco and Gino. Whether they stay in it or not is another thing, but it's just using up oh, just some of that's going to go into the skip anyway, so I thought. I was so, a little house. Um, I've just explained to Spencer, I've got something to tell him, um, and I'm not having him on this time. But I'm not sure. But I think Marco's pregnant. Yeah, bollocks. I mean, <laughs> that's not possible. I think he's pregnant. How? Oh. I think it's a she. He I came swear he had balls. Well, I thought he did, but he's come today and he looks really fat. He looked fat yesterday. I think he's got worms. He's not pregnant. He's a boy. He's well, I thought he had balls. I thought he had testicles, but he also looks very fat. But any too young to be pregnant if he was no, a girl? No, no. So, the thing is that has, Mark... Has Lady Bohora been given um, some <laughs> of a treatment or her? No, the thing is, is um, what we need to do is to try and um, give him a good stroke and just feel if we can feel anything moving. Not what, like worms, oh. I'm, I'm thinking kittens. No, I thought he meant feel his balls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought he definitely had testicles, but he's looking incredibly fat. Yeah, but he doesn't like a lady cat either. Well then, you can't tell these days, can you? Um, it's like I said to, to Abe, but could he possibly have both? and be pregnant. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. It seems like he does have a little test of clothes, but... I don't he seemed know. fat today. Yeah, but I thought he seemed fat yesterday, unless he's got worms or... Because he's such a small cat, he's grown, yeah. he's like grown out instead of up. Do you know what I mean? Compared, when you look at Gino, yeah. Gino's actually pretty big. Um, and he's like widening out a little bit. Compared to Marco, he's yeah. still small, but he's really tubby, so... But... Time will tell, Spenny. Time will tell. Yeah, but it's a good that. job you brought that back. Yeah, well, it's just a little thing for him. Yeah, well done. It's even got the opening. Yeah, it's got a little opening so in it. So I think we're going to have to just put some cardboard in it or something. Yeah. Whether they use it or not is another thing, but um, it's worth a go anyway. Yeah, isn't absolutely. It? Anyway, you've just got home yeah, from Yeah, just work. got home from. So, so I am just putting <coughs> some foam into this thing that Spencer's brought back for the cats. Oh look, look how perfect that is. So this is the cabinet that Spencer brought back and makes a lovely little cat home. I'm just going to pop that up against the wall. There we go. Yeah, definitely looking a bit ominous, those skies. 
We're on our way to the bar. Well, I've taken more than a week off this week. I only work Tuesday. <coughs> We've had a surreal dust storm that's come over Portugal, like over the Algarve. Now, the dust makes me cough like crazy, so I thought to myself, it's not really advisable to be out here too much. Well, as you can tell, Belle's really happy to have me with her this week, because all she's been doing lately is just giving me kisses all the time. And she's happy. It's been, it's been okay. It's very, very, very tiring. Um, I'm trying to catch up with a bit of work on the farm as well. But <coughs> that mainly involves the sitting in the tractor, which isn't strenuous. And uh, I've dug up the failed crop. Uh, because I couldn't expect Angela to do that, because they're on, the, on the land, it is, was, even for me, it was very hard to pull up the stuff where I can pull up. So, uh, the next job on the land today, when I get back, if I don't cough and dust out of all the dust, <coughs> is to rotate the land, clear the land again, ready for more planting. Now this is very unusual, this is. Normally figs come out in August, and they're normally ripe from August, September time. Here, I found a fig tree blooming with full-size figs. And they are beautiful figs as well. What size are those? So, th this, this is on a uh, roadside. And I'm thinking, when these are ready, I'm coming down here to make get some figs, to make some my own yeah. jam. I am just taking a little photograph video of Bella coming back from the bar. Look how happy she is. She can't see and she can't hear it an awful lot, but that's one happy little girl. Yeah. When the north wind blows here in the Algarve, we send a waft pure joy down to northern Africa um, the smell of the orange blossom here in the countryside is just intoxicating it's absolutely divine when the southern wind blows from North Africa we get mold bacteria and sandstorms and that's what's happening at the moment and the air is so thick, people that have breathing problems, um, old or young, shouldn't actually go out in it. Um, you can taste it in the air and it's irritating. I'll show, I'll show you what I mean. I'll, I'll show you some of what it's like. It is actually thick dust. I think it happens I would say every three months you, you will get a storm like this. Sometimes it's more yellow and it's more sand. At the moment it is just mold and bacteria they say. And they say that you shouldn't really go out in it unless you really have to. And we're advised to shut the windows and the doors. So we have got Bella. Um, we have been to the bar, um, but I have kept my windows shut. So, and not only that, they are actually spraying the oranges. So, I don't really want to stay inside. It's supposed to be 26 degrees today. It's a hard, uh, dust storm at the moment, and uh, apparently it's not right good for you. It's supposed to not be good for your lungs, but... I've been working in it, but Abe's been taking the time off, but you can even see on the car. Nasty. Yeah. Hello, my darlings. I've had to come out incognito. I've had such a harrowing week, you know. I've been followed by the paparazzi all over the Algarve. I had to make a dash for it into Costa Lotonia. I even had to pay the security guard to get rid of them. Anyway, on top of all that, darlings, I haven't been feeling myself. No, I haven't. I've been tossing and turning all night. So, I went to the doctor 
and guess what he told me? No, guess what he told me? He said, nothing compares to you, Lady B. He <laughs> uh, uh, says, you must go on HRT. It's also been a very hard week. Personally, I've had to let the investment banker go. He was very distraught. He even offered me his chopper. That's his chopper leaving. Anyway, my darlings, I've got to dash. I've got a bridge afternoon at the Bald Octopussy. In Minty Delago. Anyway, my darlings, it's a good bye from me and take care of yourselves. Now then, darlings, a few people in the Algarve actually think that my character is based on them. Hmm, it actually isn't. A, because they're not classy enough and B, they're just not funny enough and C, they're just not stylish enough <laughs> Anyway my darlings, I've got to dash I've got a bridge afternoon at the Bold Octopussy gone into two. Let me go get some more turkey teeth. Anyway, my darlings. <laughs> anyway, my darlings. I've got to dash. I've got to bridge afternoon at the bold octopus. Uh, <coughs> turkey teeth. Anyway, my darlings. I've got to dash. I've got to bridge afternoon in Minted Delago at the Bold Octopussy. Put <laughs> 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 it on me. Actually, here is Chopper, darling. Right, that's, <laughs> that's a lot better. <laughs> Any <laughs> anyway, my darlings, I have got to go. I'm going down to Minted Delago to play bridge at the Bold Octopussy. No, you, you've got to let me have a drink of me. <laughs> this is my leg is starting to get cramped. Go <laughs> up, darling. It's... Okay. <laughs> let me help, my Let me oh. hide my... Right, you ready? Okay. When I say... Octopussy, you lot to give me a drink. I don't even know what you're trying to do. <laughs> I'm just kissing. Anyway, my darlings, I've got to go. I'm going down to the bold octopussy. <laughs> All right, I don't even... <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. My leg's gone. Okay. That was really hot work. Wait, it's only 26 degrees, darling. Uh, nothing this.